Today, it's all about the PlayStation 4 and its terrible Wi-Fi speed. It's terrible Wi-Fi speed. If your internet is making your gaming life an absolute living hell on the PlayStation 4, today I'm going to show you a very quick settings that you can change and double or triple or quadruple your internet speed just like that. <music> Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. If you're like me and you finally managed to carve out some time, you know how frustrating it can be when that internet connection is spotty, dodgy and drops you off. You always get killed just because your lag time's terrible and basically your teammates have left you behind. If you've got that kind of problem, let me show you a quick settings that you can change to make that experience so much better. Right, let's head over to the PlayStation. Let's go up to the very, very top and you're going to choose settings. Now, as you know here, you scroll down until you see network, press on that. And before we get started, what we're going to do is we're going to run a test. Let's check the current internet connections before we make any changes. Okay, so we're getting 32.3 down and 6.3 up. Right, now let's make some changes. Go up to set up internet connection. If you have the option for LAN cable, always choose that because that's nice and wired, that's brilliant. If not, choose Wi-Fi and then we're going to choose Custom. Now, select the home Wi-Fi that you're going to be connecting to. And now some options come up. Leave the IP address as automatic, DHCP, do not specify. But the next screen, this is DNS settings. We're going to change it down to manual. And the primary DNS, the first thing you're going to do is delete the zeros that are in there. And then instead you're going to replace it with one dot one dot one dot one and when we're done we click on done and for your secondary dns we want to specify that as well go and delete that first and then we're going to make it to one dot zero dot zero dot one and press on done Right, so now we have a primary and a secondary DNS that we've manually inputted. Press on next. Choose automatic for the MTU settings. Proxy server do not use. And let's test the connection now and see if it made any difference at all. Right, so now we have 39.4 down and 6.8 up. So there's already a difference between the first one and the second one. This is using Cloudflare's DNS. Let's try something else. Let's go back into the settings. Let's choose Wi-Fi this time. Let's choose the home Wi-Fi again. And this time choose automatic and choose do not specify. And under your manual settings, this time let's change the DNS. So firstly, go and delete the previous one. And this time we're going to replace it with 8.8.8.8. And click on done. Let's go change the secondary DNS to... Well, first of all, let's delete the previous zeros. And now we're going to change the previous DNS, the secondary DNS, sorry, to 8.8.4.4. This is Google's DNS. And click on Done. Click on Next. MTU, leave it as automatic. Proxy server, automatic. And test connections. Let's see if that makes a difference. Right, so now we've got 49.6 down and 6.3 up. So already, just by simply changing the DNS, look at the download speed difference that we've managed to get. Let's compare the other ones quickly. So first it was the original one, which was 32.3 down and 6.3 up. Then it was using Cloudflare's DNS, 39.4 down and 6.8 up. And then it was the Google's DNS, 49.6 and 6.3 uploads. So depending where you are in the world and your service provider, one of these options is going to be better than another, which is why I'm showing you both so you can test it. If you want to get a faster network as a whole, not just your PS4, but your computers, your laptops, your tablets, there will be a link to a video I've done about that. You can click on that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like this kind of content, check out some of these other videos. I'll see you guys on the next episodes because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.